All right, so welcome to tonight's general assistance meeting, um, September, is it the 30th? 30th. So you guys being six feet away, you okay with that? Take my mask off, it'll be easier for me to explain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so tonight is a public hearing required um, by state law anytime there are changes to the general assistance um, maximums for uh, York County. Um, the goal is that the town of Acton will adopt these numbers next week. Uh, we've had it advertised, we put it in the newspaper, we've um, put it on cable, put it on Facebook. Um, the numbers have all been posted and available to the public. I have not gotten any questions or comments on them. Um, they do go up in the favor of the residents, in favor of anyone needing general assistance. Uh, so we can just review them quickly. Uh, but essentially, the overall maximums, meaning the maximum amount of income that someone can have to qualify for general assistance for a single person, went from $899 to $1136. Um, and then we'll go to the high range of it. Um, if there's five people in the household, it went from 1692 to 2699. So that's the total number, uh, this total amount of income that you can have in your county in our area to be able to qualify. Um, so they can make more now and still possibly qualify. The flip side of that is the food maximums and the housing maximums that um, went up, and they would have gone the opposite direction. So that one person that um, qualifies for general assistance in the previously could only get $45.12 a month uh, a week excuse me in food assistance that's gone up to 4744 and then down to uh, the highest amount, adding $150 per person. So it's gone up um, a fair amount for each person that, that, that they have coming to them if they qualify. Same was true with the housing maximums. They went up, meaning that um, you're allowed a higher maximum of what you might qualify for if you decide or if you get in a situation that you need general assistance. Uh, one bedroom before, the state would only pay up to $174 a week. Now it's up to $228. And as there's more people in the household, uh, those numbers go up. So um, the trend really is based on um, overall you can still make a little more and still qualify for maybe a little bit more. So um, we are fortunate here in Acton that uh, we see a very small amount of general assistance come through. Um, and for those people that don't qualify uh, that need something, we've got our neighbors helping neighbors. So uh, we are fortunate, but those are the numbers. Um, and as I indicated, I, this will be on next week's agenda uh, for the board to approve the new numbers and um, we'll sign it and send it off to the state. Sounds good. That's all we need. Anyone from the public? Questions, comments, concerns? Anybody want to talk about general assistance? Kind of quiet tonight. Quiet tonight. You've met your. Uh, yeah, it is. It's nice to go up because yeah. as the cost of living goes up, I mean, we like to see the wages go up, the places are paying. Um, but certainly, it, it's nice to see those those numbers go up a little bit. But yeah, when was the last time they they, they went out? Uh, they go up every year. So far, they usually go up. Every year. Yeah, small amount. Small amount. This the year, it um, seems like it's a the maximums the per person maximum took a bigger jump than it has in the last couple of years. But the food, you know, that's a, a, about an average of three percent the household and the housing excuse me uh, there are um they, there's no change but a lot of people don't realize that general assistance can cover um burials and cremations if we get to that that really? point and, yeah. and qualify so and we've used that once in town so so we've, you, we've met all the requirements for the public hearing it's um, unless you guys have any other questions or comments you're welcome to close it and we'll put it on the agenda for discussion next week all right well then we will close this general assistance meeting tonight thank you very much have a good evening